everyone welcome to KLE Society's College of Education Angola i am chaitra nagishetty b8 first year student teacher so let us study about separation of substances in this video which is the third chapter of the science subject from 6th standard test book as we all know that in our daily life there are many instances when we notice a substance being separated from a mixture of materials tea leaves are separated from the liquid with a strainer grain is separated from stalks while harvesting perhaps you might have been eaten salted poha if you found that it had chilies in it you may have carefully taken them out before eating In today's class let us study about what is the meaning of separation of substances and the what all the techniques used to separate the mixture of substances Firstly the meaning of separation is the division of something into distinct elements the separation of substances means division of mixture of substances into individual components by using various of techniques or a method The first method is hand picking hand picking is uh, the method in which substances in a mixture can be separated by just picking them out with the help of hand from the mixture is called hand picking it is used to separate larger sized impurities like stone from pulses here one activity is there that is bring a packet of pulses or a grains from shop to the class and spread it on a newspaper here you can observe pulses mixed with impurities and remove it with the help of hand and the next method is threshing threshing is the process of separating grains from the stalk by beating the grains are weakly attached to the stalk and each stalk has many grain seeds attached to it threshing is done with the help of bullocks machines are also used to thresh the third method is winnowing winnowing is used to separate heavier and lighter components of a mixture by wind or blowing air for example separation of sawdust from sand the fourth method is sieving sieving is a method in which components of different sizes are separated using a sieve it allow the fine flour particles to pass through the holes of sieve while the crystal impurities remain in the sieve here one activity is there that is bring a sieve and a small quantity of flour to the class sieve the flour to separate any impurities from it therefore sieve is used when components of a mixture have different sizes and the fifth method is sedimentation sedimentation is a process used to separate solid from a liquid when the heavier components in a mixture settles after water is added to it the process is called sedimentation the activity here is bring a sand and a water to a glass and mix the sand and water thoroughly and keep aside for few minutes note on the observation there sand particles settle down and a pure water on upper part The sixth method is decantation. Decantation is the process of separating insoluble solid particles from liquid. For example, after sedimentation, the pure water is separated from settled sand particle. The activity here is mix the sand and water in a glass, keep aside for some time and pour the clear water to a another beaker. This process is called decantation and a poured liquid is called decanted liquid. The seventh method is filtration. Filtration is a type of process which separate solid particles which is mixed with liquid with the help of filter medium. The liquid which has obtained after filtration is called filtrate. It is similar to the decantation process. For example, separation of tea leaves from tea. Activity here is separation of mixture of jeera powder which is mixed with the water, smash the jeera into a mixture for first and then the powder mix with the water and separate it by using filtration technique. The eighth method is evaporation. The process of conversion of water into its water vapor is called evaporation. Wet cloths dry in summer is an example for evaporation. The rate of evaporation is high when temperature increases. 
So, for example, for evaporation process is sea water contains many salt mixed in it, and this salt is common salt where we used in our daily life. When the sea water is allowed to stand in a shallow pit, water gets heated by sunlight and slowly turns into water vapor. After this process, the lifted solid salts undergo purification to get pure common salts. This is an example for evaporation process. The eighth method is condensation. The process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid form is called condensation. Take a mixture of sand and salt and keep the mixture in a beaker. Add some water to it. Leave the beaker aside for some time. Sand will settle down and liquid undergo decantation. We need to separate salt from decanted liquid. Transfer the liquid into the kettle. Notice the steam is coming out. Take a metal plate with some ice on it. Hold the plate just above the kettle. When the steam comes in contact with metal, cooled with ice, it condenses to and form liquid water is called process of condensation. And the last part of the chapter is water saturation. A saturated solution is a solution that contains the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a given amount of water is called water saturation. And here is one activity that is take a small quantity of water in a beaker and add 1 teaspoon of salt and stir it. And continue this process until you find salt remain undissolved and settle at the bottom. Now the water is in saturated state. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and comment.